It seems like only yesterday that Ivana Lynch lit up the screen as Luna Lovegood in the Harry Potter movies, and now she's making magic with her feet on Dancing with the Stars. But how did she get from Hogwarts to the dance floor? Here's a look at the surprising journey of the girl who played Luna in Harry Potter. A Simple Childhood Although it can be hard to imagine Ivana Lynch as anyone but Luna Lovegood, she's actually a three-dimensional human being with her own origin story. Lynch is a native of Ireland, has three siblings, and her parents were educators by profession. By all accounts, Lynch's early years were serene, though she says she was painfully shy. She grew up Catholic and, as she told the Irish Times, close to nature and surrounded by cows and sheep. Despite her shyness, her upbringing sounds idyllic in many ways and almost from another time. She also studied speculative fiction and drama and, of course, she loved the Harry Potter books. Landing the Role there are several rumors concerning how Ivana Lynch landed the role of Luna Lovegood. Chief among them is that J.K. Rowling spotted a sickly ailing Lynch at a book signing and promised her the role if she could just manage to eat something. In reality, however, Lynch met Rowling when she began a pen pal correspondence with the famous author. I had an eating disorder at the time and I wrote to her because I felt like Harry Potter was the only thing that really took my mind off it and it was right. such a gift. Rowling offered Lynch the part of an extra in the films, but Lynch declined and instead auditioned for Luna. Lynch really was the right person for the role too, which is obvious to anyone who's seen the Harry Potter films. She told Shun magazine, It wasn't acting. It was just a beautiful opportunity to play as a character I loved so much and an exercise in channeling her spirit. Moving on. All good things must come to an end. With the end of Harry Potter, Lynch was cast out of the Potterverse and into the real world, which was a tough transition for her. She told Shun magazine, I had no strong sense of who I was or what my worth was outside of being Luna, and yet I no longer felt like Luna. It was a very strange, lonely, unknowable time, and I felt nothing was anchoring me to the world. Hogwarts to Hollywood what do you do when you've gotten your big break in a major film franchise but you're all finished shooting? Move to LA, of course, so that's just what Ivana Lynch did. She told Bust magazine, Personally, I felt I had to move away from home because there was a lot of cynicism around having a job in the arts. People would think that acting wasn't a real viable career option, and there's a sense that if you aspire to it, you must think you're something special. Dashed Dreams Lynch has been quite busy since Harry Potter wrapped. She's landed roles in the BBC drama Danny and the Human Zoo, the indie crime drama Dynamite A Cautionary Tale, and guest starred in an episode of the Sky One television show Simbad, among others. But none of those catapulted her into megastardom. Lynch did land a dream role at one point, one that had potential to be that sought-after big break. But due to financing problems, the film Monster Butler never got off the ground, which was initially devastating for Lynch. She told The Independent, When Monster Butler fell through at the last minute, I was heartbroken for a few weeks. But as they say, when one door closes, another one opens. A Character 180 The first feature-length film that Ivana Lynch starred in after Harry Potter was quite the pivot for her after acting in dramatic movies. In 2013, she played Mackenzie Price in the American teen comedy GBF. Unlike Luna Lovegood, Price is a homophobic, evangelical Christian, pretty much the opposite of a lovable weirdo. Lynch really had to act in this role, as it was so different from who she is in real life too. She told the Irish Post, I had to kind of become a character who I disagreed with in every way. The film also gave Lynch the chance to show off her acting chops in other ways. She continued, It was a chance to do an American accent, and it was a very different genre. I'd never done comedy before. From Witch to Magician's Wife GBF wasn't the only project that Lynch worked on in 2013. She also starred in a touring production of Houdini in England and Ireland. Specifically, she was cast as Bess Houdini, the wife and stage assistant for Harry Houdini. Lynch welcomed the opportunity to get to know the wife of the legendary magician through her character. She told the Irish Post, 
Harry called her his lucky charm, and I think it's so interesting to explore the minds of these people who were in the background, who were supporting these people who became our idols. Lynch not only found the role exciting, but also the prospect of acting live on stage, which she had always wanted to do. She revealed, It's a lot of responsibility in that you can't change it. It's not been edited to make you look good. It's just you. It's very pure. It's raw. Sounds pretty magical to us. Lead Role Pressure After many auditions for many projects, Lynch finally landed the major lead part in a film. She starred in the titular role in the independent Irish film My Name is Emily in 2015, directed by the late Simon Fitzmaurice. It was a good fit too, as Lynch really empathised with the character. She told Interview magazine, It was such a great part. I've not had that many parts where you read it and it feels like they're words that would come out of your mouth. It's just so natural. There was special pressure to perform too, as the film's director was diagnosed with ALS in 2008 and was completely paralysed. So he wrote and directed the entire film with his eyes, using iris recognition software to communicate an intense accomplishment. Lynch told Bust magazine, I very much had a sense of, I cannot mess this up. I can't blow this. I have to give it my all every day. Committing to the madness. In 2017 and 2018, Lynch once again graced the stage. She starred in the Irish play Disco Pigs in the role of Runt opposite Colin Campbell in the role of Pig. The critically acclaimed show started its run in London, then moved to the Irish Repertory Theatre in New York City. And as Lynch tells it, the show was fierce. She told Shoon magazine, Until I did Disco Pigs, I didn't realise what an intense physical discipline theatre is. I was constantly battered and bruised on that play. Even though the show was mentally and physically demanding, Lynch absolutely loved the experience and grew from it immensely. She shared, You just have to fully commit to the madness and let yourself feel your way through. You're just as sane as I am. Her dream roles. When it comes to her hopes for the future, Lynch has a couple of roles that she'd really like to play. The first is Lucia Joyce, who was a professional dancer and the daughter of the legendary Irish writer James Joyce. But that's not the only person Lynch wants to play. She told Glamour magazine, My other dream role, which started as a joke but quickly took hold as a burning desire, would be to play Britney Spears in a biopic. She's always been an idol of mine. I think she's awesome. Activism for a personal cause. As a child, Lynch battled a serious eating disorder, which she says was born out of a struggle for self-worth and identity. But she revealed she was miserable. It's an addiction. It is an addiction. It becomes an addiction and it really numbs because it consumes your whole energy. She was hospitalized by age 11 for anorexia and spent two years in and out of clinics. Fortunately for Lynch, she didn't let anorexia nervosa consume her, finally getting healthy enough to stand on her own two feet once again. In an essay about body image, Lynch shared, We are damn lucky to have our bodies, these strange, multifunctional machines that let us leave our legacy on the planet. I hope you realize how powerful your body is and decide that today you're going to start treating it with love and kindness. Another passion. Another thing that Lynch is passionate about outside of acting is her commitment to a vegan lifestyle. And she's serious about it too. It's much more than a simple dietary choice for her. She told Vegan Food and Living, I think the root of this whole lifestyle is compassion. It's a daily reminder that we are all one. I believe veganism is what will heal this planet. Those are not throwaway opinions. Girl is a believer and she is committed. Veganism has also helped Lynch heal her relationship with food. She continued, Now food has a deeper purpose and my diet has different guidelines. Simply, nourishment and preservation of myself and the planet I live on. Dancing Queen on September 12, 2018, Harry Potter fans were thrilled at the surprise announcement that Lynch would be joining the cast of the 27th season of ABC's venerated celebrity dance competition, Dancing with the Stars, partnered with pro Keo Motsepe. 
What do you hope to get out of Dancing with Stars? Uh, better dance moves and I think more confidence. After facing off against Voldemort, you wouldn't think anything would phase Lynch. But she said that dancing live is even more terrifying than you know who. It's a long way from Hogwarts, isn't it? A little bit. <laughs> Not quite as scary, is it? Oh my god, it's a hundred times more scary. <laughs> if there's one thing Lynch has proven, though, it's that, just like Luna, she never lets fear keep her from being herself. You go, Ivana.